Hi guys, today's story is Charlie's favourite book. Okay, I'm going to do a few stories for you and make sure you're listening because at the end I'm going to ask four questions. Okay, uh, this could be your favourite book. My favourite book is definitely The Wonky Donkey. That is one good book. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow. Do you love The Wonky Donkey? Okay, Charlie's favourite book. Once upon a time there was a boy called Charlie Cook who curled up in a cosy chair and read his favourite book about a leaky pirate ship which very nearly sank and a pirate chief who got the blame and had to walk the plank. The chief swam to an island and went digging with his hook. At last he found a treasure chest. <gasps> What's inside? Ooh! And in it was a book. Remember that? There was a book inside the treasure chest. About a girl called Goldilocks and three indignant bears, indignant means angry, who cried, who's had our porridge and who's been sitting in our chairs? They went into the bedroom and baby bear said, look, she's in my bed. And what is more, she's got my favorite book. Oh dear, Goldilocks is not very nice. About Sir Percy Pilkington, a bold and fearless knight, who told the dragon, wait, I'm not quite ready for this fight. You must hear this one first. And then his armour clanked and shook as he read aloud a joke he found inside his favourite book. Ah, but! Rowena read a lot. A very well-read frog who jumped on a, lily pond, on a lily pad and jumped upon a log, then jumped into the library which stood beside the brook and, and went, Ready, ready, ready. Get it? As she jumped upon a book. About an oak tree full of birds. Each bird had built a nest and they had a competition to decide which one was best. Which one do you think is best? Let's have a look. They chose an owl to judge it and the winner was a rook whose nest was lined with pages from his favourite book. So this guy won it. A girl who saw a flying saucer in the sky. Some small dream men were in it as they waved as they flew by. She tugged her mother's sleeve and said, Look, Mum, what I've just seen. But Mum said, Hush, I'm trying to read my favourite magazine. <gasps> About a wicked jewel thief who stole the king's best crown. But they got stuck behind some sheep, which, sl which slowed the car right down. Oh dear. The king down 999, and as soon as the cops had caught the crook and flung him into prison, where he read his favourite book. Oh dear, it's a robber in the mum's magazine. Abat, a greedy crocodile who got fed up with his fish and went on land to find some other kind of dish. Oh dear, don't like the sound of that. He went into the bookshop and there he grew even greedier while reading on page 90 of a large encyclopedia. About the biggest birthday cake the world had ever seen. A team of royal cake makers had made it for the queen. The cake was so delicious that a famous spaceman took a slice of it to Jupiter. He also took a book. About a ghost who had glided around a castle every night, carrying her head and giving everyone a fright. Oh, like this. Ooh, that sounds scary. She kept it up till morning. Then she found a shady nook and put her head back on again to read her favorite book. About a cozy armchair and a boy called Charlie Cook. Oh, I like that story. That was a good one. Okay, question time. First question is, what was the name of the boy who was reading in the armchair at the start and at the end of the story? Question two is, what did the pirate find inside the treasure chest? Question three is, what, which animal got fed up of eating fish? And decided they wanted to eat something else instead. And the last question is what 
happened in the magazine that the mummy was reading. Okay, so see if you can tell me the answers, have a think, and we'll see if you can get them all right. Good luck!